Hi everyone, it's Belle here. I wanted to come on and share this um, sort of joint craft project that uh, I just sort of completed. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this, because I wasn't going to, I was just going to, you know, just sort of, it was just something me and two of my crafty friends did. Um, and then I was speaking to one of my friends about it and she sort of pointed out that you know, with the world going the way things are and there being a lot to worry about, this project um, is actually quite an uplifting project that we did and, well, we need things that are uplifting and hopefully it might inspire some of you guys to do a similar type of project with your crafty friends or it might just help make your, you smile and at the moment there doesn't seem to be a lot to smile about I'm hopeful that will change I believe in the good of human nature so um, let me explain what this is I have two crafty friends that I do different types of swaps with if any of you have seen my October and December daily you would have seen that we do um advent swaps through the years through the year sorry but last year we were looking for a way to do a joint project between the three of us that complemented each of our sort of crafty talents my two friends are super artistic they um draw and you know can paint and do all these wonderful things and I'm not really that way inclined I work a lot more with paper or with fabric um, and can't draw at all so I had been looking or we'd all been looking for some sort of project that we could do together and um, I found uh, a few sort of videos and things about um, index card journaling, art journaling in a sense. And I thought this this would be a really good thing for us all to try because it, each of us could use our own specific talents to create our index cards. However, sort of putting our own twist on it, um, we decided to make the card sort of inspirational, uplifting quotes or images that made us happy or, you know, just something that when you read it or saw it sort of made you smile. Um, as literally as a way to inspire each of us when maybe we were struggling. Um, and so we named our project our uh, Inspirational Index Cards. And I really wanted to have a pretty but practical way to um, keep them all together. And I do love art. Art has many uses, but I also sometimes like practical projects. And for me, this now, now that I've completed it, which I did yesterday, this will now sit in my living room and be there to share with others or on days that I really need it I can just open it up and find something to bring a smile to my face. So basically what we did was um, each of us picked a theme for the month um, you know throughout the year and then we would create two index cards per person none for ourselves we just did them for the other two and then um, we would send it to those people. So basically, we got four cards a month, um, two from each of our partners, and on the themes that we picked. And it was really interesting, the themes and the way each of us kind of looked at it. So I've talked quite a lot. So um, I don't know, I think I'm feeling quite chatty today. Out there in the world, people don't seem to be talking to each other a lot. And even when I was out shopping yesterday, people were ignoring each other and not wanting to be too close, which I know is one of the rules, you know. But it, it just, uh, I think we need to forget that everyone needs a kind word or a smile, especially in darker times. So, yeah, I just feel a bit chatty. Anyway, let's get started. So, I wanted to keep the index cards. We used the smaller kind. I think it was 
uh, oh gosh, I'll measure them when I get into it. Um, so I used this chipboard, it came from like a mini album that I had that I hadn't used, and I um, gessoed it and then kind of got this texture by using, you can see the texture really well on the back, by using Mod Podge and, um, you know when you're using napkins to decoupage and you get, you pull the two backing pieces off that are plain, well I keep those because I don't like waste and I actually use those on here to get this texture and then the colours are actually my brusho crystals that I put on and sprayed the water and dried and kept changing it and I used like blues and a bit of yellow and some red though the red looks more brown and then once that was all dry I just um sort of rubbed gold paint over the top of it to give it a bit of a shine and then on the edge here on the spine because it's got these two um hoops to hold it all together on the spine I just had I um, hope that focuses let's get it like that I just had lots of different bits of sort of ribbons and fluffs because I love texture and then I found this charm um, that said blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures and I thought that was perfect just used some eyelets um, to finish it off and some book corners so it's just really pretty and it's full of texture and um, I actually got to use up some bits that I may not always use as often. So as you can see, you can actually see lots of the fabrics and the leaves and bits poking out as you look around it, which I love because <laughs> as any of you will know who follow me for a long time, I am a sucker for texture. I need things to be tactile. So not only does it look super pretty, it um, makes me smile with just the texture. So we open it up. I'm just going to quickly flip through because, you know. And on the inside here, I just did... Oh, gosh. Hold on. I just did um, some plain paper and inked and distressed it a little bit. <clears throat> And then the one at the back actually has an envelope that opens. And in there, I've actually written about the challenge we did, why we did it. And I also wrote down, I'm going to get this out just so I remember them all. I also wrote down the themes that we chose for each month. <clears throat> So I'll just do a quick flip through and this I chose this to be the first one because not only was it January but it said let new adventures begin and I thought it kind of went with the charm so January the theme was new beginnings and I chose that theme so I'll just quickly flip through this is um, from my friends isn't that cute she believes she did so she did you are stardust isn't that pretty see how you can just use so many different techniques and things you have um february was love um, me and my friends really love halloween i hope you can see that sorry let me move you out a little bit so you can see it better so um this was sarah who is on here as stuaha creations i think i'll leave the link to her channel down below and she uh, draws these cutiful little mare bats and it says we accept the love we think we deserve so that's really cute so this was love and this was um can't live without you this was by um Anna who is craft goat on Instagram and again this is one of her like she draws these skulls a lot I just love them love makes your soul comes out from its hiding place oh it's so pretty and then that one so that was February's cards and then March was motherhood <laughs> I love this one that Sarah made with the little chalkboard and everything good mums of sticky floors messy kitchens laundry piles and happy kids very true and then Anna went with a Mother Nature theme to her motherhood cards, which is beautiful. All mothers are working mothers. Yes, they are. Silence is golden unless you have kids. Then silence is suspicious. That makes me laugh every time, Anna. <laughs> and then um, April, which was me again. So motherhood was Sarah and love was picked by Anna. Um, April was about creativity. And so... These were fun to do. Um, 
get through these like this. Creative adult is a child is the child who survived. Love that one. And this one. Be cre to be creative, we must lose our fear of being wrong. Isn't that beautiful? And I based this image on another image from, I think it's Guild of Calamity. So it was her take on that. And then um, loved Anna's choice for May, the theme for May. This was basically things that you would normally throw in the bin. So we were actually making cards from things that we would throw in the bin. Um, did I miss some cards out? Hold on. So, oh, no, no, this was another one. And then, yeah, look, Anna's used um, like a spelling sheet on that one. That's cool. And then for June was Spirituality in Nature. And I love this card. Look at the glitter. Nature always wears the colours of the spirit. Oh, that was one of Sarah's cards. Isn't it beautiful? And then Anna's one here. Spirit, intuition, the mind, physical body, environment. Just beautiful. And Sarah's actually used dried daisies on this one. I go into nature to be soothed, healed, and to have my senses put in order. Yes, we do. So as you can see, um, we each have our own unique style. Obviously, there's none of mine in here. They've got my cards. Um, but... You can get so creative. Oh, look at these ones. This is one of the cards. Um, Sarah does these crocheted edges on her journals and things. Oh, I just love it. And these little, like, wings. Oh, beautiful. So this one was um, July. And this is uh, Friendship. So I love that one. Look. Some souls just understand each other upon meeting. Yes, they do. Be a friend. Find your tribe and love them hard. That's one of my favourites in here. And friends grow together. That's one of Anna's cards. But yeah, as I was saying, you can find that you can get so creative, even though they're a tiny space. So this one is Goddess. The goddess does not rule the world. She is the world. Love that one. And this is beautiful. Oh, I should have brought it down. So Anna found this image and then drew her version of it. And then Sarah actually created them. She has a 3D printer. She created me one of these um, that I can keep. And I absolutely cherish it. She's got the whole earth warrior, goddess, warrior, priestess, going to save the world vibe. Very Buffy-esque, that one. And this is one by um, Anna. And this is Helena, the Norse goddess of the underworld. Or hell, as most people call her. And then Sarah chose a lovely fun one for um, September. We have Disney. And look at the sparkle on that. This is a Moana quote. That's beautiful. And oh, Anna drew me mad Madam Mim. One of my favourite Disney villains that very rarely ever gets um sort of spoken about or things done i absolutely love it and then sarah chose another moana quote and um drew this stunning stingray so beautiful and then anna drew my other favorite disney villain which is a maleficent which if any of you have watched my um october daily i used a maleficent journal that had been made for me for a swap and I love Maleficent so um I chose the theme for October and as Samhain Halloween to others is in October I chose the theme of ancestors now this one is actually covered because um this is actually a photo of my friend Sarah and her children but I just love the quote I am my ancestors wildest dreams I just it's just a beautiful quote and I love the fact she put a picture of her and her children on there and it's Anna made this gorgeous little card. See how the ghost sparkle? It's so cute. And then Sarah's one. We will be known forever by the tracks we leave. Yes. And then Anna's. Lo there, I do see the line of my people all the way back to the beginning. You see the art on there, her flowers. that She's actually cut out of fabric and drawn. They're just so creative. So um, November, Anna actually plays in a band. She's a drummer. So she chose uh, song lyrics that inspire us. 
and that was Sarah's one and she's got these beautiful leaves on here that she's added gold to that sparkle um, so that that shouldn't be there Anna should be next um, and that's another one of Sarah's but Anna's should actually be next because I've they're supposed to be in order so I'll sort that out this is one of Anna's oh look 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 at the paper she's picked and these lips she's drawn and sort of Mick Jagger-esque lips aren't they and then this is Sarah Anna's other one what did she say it's from Flying Whales by Gorgia Gorilla I don't know Anna sorry mispronounced so that's that one and then finally for December we chose as we are Halloweeny fans we chose Creepmas so this one is um I'm pretty sure this is Sarah's yeah he sees you while she's sleeping look at that <laughs> look at that little Santa spider oh my god I love it Sarah you knew I would I mean it's brilliant and she's so good with the writing I can't write like that and then Anna's this like angel ghost skull for there and then this I put in upside down but I can't actually turn it around without ruining so this is the other one of Sarah's and he says he knows when you're awake well <laughs> that is creepy I don't think I would have wanted Santa to actually visit if he'd actually been above my bed like that oh it's brilliant it's just brilliant Sarah thank you and then oh love this one by Anna too look Ho ho brains. Again, in my October daily journal, I actually put one of the cards that I'd actually made for Creepmas in there as a pocket. It's just so much fun. So, um, yeah, just really love it. Really grateful to have two such crafty friends. And um, I'm going to keep this out. And when I'm just feeling a bit rubbish, need a bit of a pick me up. Just flick it open, see what the um, the card or the message is or the image um, and sort of be inspired by it. It's just really beautiful. Um, yeah, so I hope it's inspired you. I hope some of the things have brought a smile to your face and maybe inspired you to have a go yourself at creating something similar. Um with you and your crafty friends we're actually doing another um let me find it hold on a minute we're actually doing another excuse me for being off camera uh joint creative project this year we've just started and it's based on the you me and three idea by um uh, I think it's pronounced Mickleney here on YouTube and Southern Art Girl Designs. They did a Yumi same three. And because of three of us, we're, we're calling ours three by three creativity. And so basically what we're going to be doing this year is each month again, one of us, we take it in turns and we send the other person, the other two people, three exact same random pieces um, and we keep some for ourselves and then we all get to make an art journal page um, let me try and show you here so this was January's one and I had sent this Tim Holtz figure this journaling card and some piano roll and we had to make an art journaling page with those three pieces and then this was February's art journal page and Anna had sent the pieces and she'd sent this gorgeous image and this um, fabric. And then there was paper that was all, it looked like wood, but I cut it up and actually used it almost like planks. So um, I even used some of the washes she'd put on the envelope, <laughs> but you specifically have to use the three pieces the person sent. So that is that. <sighs> Let's pull you out a little bit more. Sorry if I just made you seasick. And then March was actually Sarah. And Sarah had drawn these gorgeous um, sort of sort of bugs, beetles. And there was a butterfly on there and lots of different things. She'd hand-drawn them and sent us a whole um, sheet. And she'd also sent this 
um, paper that was gorgeous and then this lace. So I cut the images out and kind of I think this is my favorite page because I will be honest I've never done art journaling on a page before yeah obviously we've done the index cards so these are my first three ever attempts at art journaling so be kind <laughs> um but yeah this is my March one and I like this best because I feel like I'm finding my groove now so obviously April it will be my turn to send the pieces for the art journaling page so yes thank you for joining me today I hope I hope this has made you smile a little bit or inspired you to have a go at art journaling if you haven't done it before or inspired you to have a go at creating a year-long um, art project with maybe one, two, maybe more crafty friends. And um, I hope it's just brought a bit of a smile to your face today when we really need as many smiles um, and as much joy as we can get at the moment and I hope wherever you are in the world I hope you your family your loved ones your friends I hope you're all safe and well and um yeah thank you for joining me today I appreciate each and every one of you um you know I hope you're having a good and safe weekend bye